Hey guys, welcome back to this channel. I'm sorry, it's a little bit of a mess. I just had everything very pretty uh, next to each other, all the ingredients, and then I dropped something in the flower and it was just a flower explosion. So it's no use to clean this up because I'm gonna be mixing this anyway and then clean up the whole counter kitchen. So I'm sorry about this, um, this, this scenery, this drama that you see here. <laughs> Anyway, so today we will be making um, a yogurt cake, yogurt slash apple cake uh, with a hot air fryer. This is also something uh, some of you uh, sometimes comment that if it's also uh, doable with the oven. Of course it is. With the oven, you always have to keep it on 180 degrees and then a minimum of 30 minutes for cake. That's just the basic thing that I'm giving you here. Of course, keep checking, but at least 180 degrees a minimum of 30 minutes and then you should go to go and then from there keep checking if the cake is ready or not but for this one what we need is one of these bowls where we will be doing the mixing we need one of these old-fashioned mixes still love them what you see here is not part of the recipe this is the moroccan pancakes if uh, it's a great great nice way to uh, do breakfast if you're tired of you know the regular bread and all that and you can do anything as a topping on this one, jam, cheese, fruit, whatever you like. So the recipe should be uh, should be on this uh, YouTube channel, also step by step. Anyway, back to the recipe that we'll be making today. Like I said, it's yogurt apple cake with a hot air fryer. What we need for this is 250 grams of yogurt, preferably Greek yogurt if you happen to have that. We need three eggs. We need about 110 milliliter of oil. Uh, sunflower oil is what I have here about 225 grams of flour we need about um, 150 grams of sugar we need about a teaspoon and a half of baking powder we need about one teaspoon of vanilla extract and one apple I don't know if I mentioned that um, if you want to ma be making this with the oven then you're gonna need one of the oven dishes that's at least 20 centimeter um, uh, wide well you know there's measurements they, they give you and some baking paper and uh, for those of you that like to add even more sweetness you can um, garnish this with a little bit of uh, powdered sugar on top which is uh, which is not something I will be doing there's enough sugar in it as is first we're gonna be uh, starting with uh, beating the eggs in the bowl that we have so I'm gonna do that three eggs all right I hope this goes right because I'm doing it with one hand here goes oh no you guys the iPhone stopped filming but I said here goes the egg beating. It's almost art when you look at it. Anyway, beat it for a minute or something. All right, there you have it. Nice foam. That's what makes the, the cake fluffy. Next, we're going to be adding the sugar, the oil, the yogurt, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. As you can see, just to keep confusion for myself i always like to put them in the nice order and separate them what ingredients go first so it's these and then this mess over here so i'm going to add all these in there just at the same time again the yogurt the yogurt was 250 grams one teaspoon of vanilla extract 110 milligram of oil and 150 grams of sugar Look at this. Looks like that hole in the latest Star Wars movie where Ray had to go through. Anyway, let's mix that. Speaking of which, you guys, if you love Star Wars, have you seen the latest interview of Daisy? The lady that portrayed the role of Ray? You should look it up. Keep beating this for a minute, minute and a half. Just trust your feeling until you feel like it's really well mixed. There it is. If you want, you can add some lemon zest 
And I think I'm going to do that because we both, me and Mike, love the freshness, the smell of the lemon zest that it adds to uh, the cake. Although in this case, I did already add the vanilla extract, of course. But trust me, it goes perfectly together. So there it is. I did one small lemon. Well, almost all of it, see? But just know that you can skip uh, this step. All right, so now we're gonna add the flour. Like I said, we have here 225 grams of flour and one teaspoon and a half of baking powder. Powder. I'm gonna add it in there and that's it. And then we're going to bake this. And there goes the flour and the baking powder, as you can see. So what I do when I add the flour, always put it on the lowest speed. Again, I'm doing this with one hand. It's probably not too smart, but uh, it will just have to do. So I always start with the lowest speed until the flour is mixed in. Otherwise, you're gonna get an explosion of flour. Unless it's fresh flour from nature. The ones that you can actually smell, an explosion of flour is not nice. So anyway, so now when I reach this stage, I just go ahead and put it on high speed. And again, just trust your feeling. Keep mixing until you feel like it's well mixed. So it looks like it's well mixed. By the way, guys, what you see here is fresh bread that was just delivered this morning with the groceries. Um, but I will be making a salmon burger later today. Uh, again, it's an easy recipe. So I just need the bread to be a little bit hard. But don't worry about that. If you don't have it in your home, you can just put them in the hot air fryer and just let them dry a little bit. That's the idea. And then we can crush them and, uh, you know, with the salmon to create nice salmon burger patties. Um, so anyway, that's for later on. If you're interested in making a um, salmon burger. For now, I'm gonna clean this mess up. I'm gonna cut the apple in slices evenly and come back to you guys because we'll be putting this finally into the hot air oven little dish pan or whatever you call this. So guys, for slicing the apple, I'm gonna be using the Magimix Mix 4200 XL. No, we're not sponsored. Um, and we have two of these pieces. And they both have this width that decides how thick your apple slices uh, should be. So in this case, because uh, my uh, uh, hot air fryer dish is a little bit smaller than what you would have in an oven, I'm going to go, um, doesn't mean I have a huge surface to cover with apple slices. So I'm just going to make, I'm just make the slices thicker and I'm going to go for this one, the ES4. Okay. So you take this piece of your Magi mix. And then you, you don't put it like this, but you put this knob like this, okay? And just, it falls into place, you can close it. Make sure that this always goes in there, otherwise it won't work, it's a security thing. Okay, now through this opening, I'm gonna um, cut an apple in half, take out the, I, I, don't, I don't know how you call that, you know, where the seed is within the core of the apple and uh, just cut it into big halves and then slice it. Okay, so there it is guys in one go. I forgot to film it for you guys. I'm sorry. I know some of you always get upset when you don't see how I do this, but there it is. All right, let's go back to our uh, cake uh, batter. So guys, again, I will be making this with hot air fryer. We use the Philips. Uh, this is the second one that we have, the upgrade. Again, not sponsored. And the XXL. So I'm gonna be using the XXL accessory that you have to buy yourself. This is not something that comes with it. We did a whole review, which you guys liked, and uh, we thank you for that. Anyway, so I'm gonna grease this in with butter all around the, the bottom, the, you know, the inside, the, just all around and then pour this in there before you pour it just make sure you, you uh, stir it one more time like really good then pour it in here 
So there it is. Some of you can use the, uh, one of these uh, spray that you can use to do this. But uh, to be honest with you guys, I always prefer this. Just get a little bit of butter with your finger, with your hand, and just smear. I don't like to spray it. I like to smear it all over in there. Okay, so now I'm going to stir this one more time and pour it in here and get back to you guys because we will be adding the apple slices on top and then it can go into the hot air fryer finally all right there it is shake it a little bit like this guys if you're one of these people that likes to lick the spoon lick the batter don't do it because it can really give you worms in places you don't want to have worms Anyway, so now I'm going to put the apple slices on there and uh, into the hot air fryer it goes. Okay, guys. I'm sorry. I'm still chewing what was left of the apple. Mm. Just spread the slices in this fashion, for example. And uh, note that sometimes if your apple slice doesn't fit in there, just nibble a little bit of it. Okay? You're some sort of a Michelangelo. Make sure that everything fits in the statue, your artwork. Sometimes you have to nibble, chisel a little bit of it with your teeth, that is. All right, it's so gonna go into the oven. So guys, because this is a hot air fryer, uh, it means that you cannot use the standard temperature, which is 180 degrees for cake, but we have to go a little bit lower. Just take it easy. And then put it on, I'd say 30 minutes. About 30 minutes, but keep checking. After 15 minutes or something, check at least 15 minutes. Just check to make sure everything is still going fine. So about 160 degrees, 30 minutes. What am I doing? Can you believe this? Guys, look, we just came home. We had, um, actually, when I started making this recipe, we I knew that we had an appointment at the hospital, just some uh, checkups and stuff. So what I did is, um, but then we didn't have the time and I set it on 30 minutes. So after that 30 minutes, I told Mike, just to be sure, while we're gone, I'm gonna add another 15 minutes. So a total of 45 minutes and it won its course and then it just it ended. And what do you guys think? It's perfect. 45 minutes, I think it took in this hot air fryer to get it to um, to this. I wash my hand. To get it to this stage where it's done. I think it could have been, I think, um, maybe, wait, so I did first 30 minutes and then I added another 15 minutes. Maybe another 10 minutes would have been uh, enough too, but um, this is it. I'm gonna take it out and see what happened. But yeah, it's stupid. Never start the recipe if you have appointments. So yeah, there it is, guys. It's perfect. It's perfect. Look, I'm not hiding anything. It just, it's just perfect. See, this is, this is the, the bottom. This is how it came out. It looks almost like an apple pie, but it's an apple yogurt, a uh, yogurt pie. It's perfect. See how cute it is. I just love it. I love it. And I'm so happy that because uh, we didn't know we had to leave to go to the hospital and didn't know if 15 minutes was enough or it's going to be ruined or but uh, no, it's just perfect. Perfect. So total of 45 minutes, 160 degrees. Perfect. Let me take a thumbnail. Mm, this is maybe this is nice. Just like this, I guess think or this. So guys, I just took a piece to try it out for you. Me and Mike, we love it. Again, it could have been uh, another 10 minutes maybe, or another eight, nine minutes could have been enough to keep it even juicier. But yeah, lucky, uh, I just told you, you guys know why I didn't do that because of the reason, I just wanted to be sure. So anyway, it's really good. There it is, make your own, enjoy it. We hope you guys are enjoying the last bit of summer like our Luna is doing right here. <laughs> She's so cute. Hey, Luna. Say hi to everyone. <laughs> Sweetie.
enjoy whatever is left of summer, guys. Thank you so much for watching.